Haters talking, but I don't even hear them. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo guys, it's Gan on Toby here, or Toby Jizzle, and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 13 Virtual Pro career mode series, Prolific. And uh, we kick off this episode with a game against Arsenal. As you can see, the world-class settings on there, so um, just to hide any possible speculation that um, this might be a bit easy, or I've been playing on the lower setting. As you can see, it was on world-class. If you didn't see that, go back to that screen and you'll see it again. But um, yeah, Arsenal in the FA Cup. Now we've already knocked Sunderland out of the competition. So that was a fantastic result for us. And we were hoping to do the same thing here. But um, as you can see, Arsenal started off the brighter, getting off an early shot. Although it was from quite a, ra a way out, um, it was a comfortable save for our goalkeeper. But we did create chances of our own early on. Lethal Jizzle getting a shot off there, but um, unable to find the back of the net. But um, yeah, it was quite a good performance for Bolton. I think um, that early um, chance for Arsenal really just sparked I don't know it sparked something in the team and they started like passing the ball properly and just creating chances and the movement was fantastic and um, um, they put in a really good shift especially defensively um, Arsenal still did manage to create a few more chances um, unfortunate not to score there Podolski firing just wide of the keeper's far post um, in the 13 or the 40th minute of the game we had a really good chance to take the lead um, I, 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 uh, I don't even know what happened with him there like he went for the header, but he tried to get around the defender and ended up going horribly wide. Um, and in the 44th minute, we were punished for not taking that chance as Arsenal worked the ball nicely into the penalty area before um, Podolski manages to find the back of the net. So they took an, uh, a lead, in, a one-goal lead into the half-time um, break. But you know, coming straight back out in the second half, we did put on the pressure and in the 60th minute hit the post. So unfortunate not to equalise there. Um, I think we would have been hard done by to not get anything out of this game because, as you can see, we did put Arsenal under quite a bit of pressure, creating chances, seeing them block, but we're just, just missing out on the bicycle kick there. Um, but in the 83rd minute of the game, I think it is, Jizzle broke through, um, got his cross in, keeper tipped it into the path of our player, the <laughs> shot was saved again before Jizzle pounced to get us that equalising goal. And you can tell how much the Bolton players really wanted it, and Jizzle really wanted it, um, because, you know, just the amount of energy they put into trying to win the ball back and just to create chances and just not giving up and it was a really inspirational performance from the side as you can see I think you see Jizzle win the ball back off the defender so dropping back into those um, defensive positions to try and maintain the um, draw and that is how the game finished one all at home against Arsenal so fantastic result for them that means we have a replay against them 7.5 rating which is pretty decent but we get huge news off the pitch that we are um, included in the England international um, side. So it's a fantastic, um, I guess, cursor that we're doing kind of what we need to do in the season. We're making um, huge steps. And, you know, an international call up is fantastic news for Lethal Jizzle. But got to keep focused on the league, try and um, secure that promotion. And we head into the game against Bristol City. Now, um, Bristol aren't even in the top half of the table, so... This game really shouldn't be a challenge for us. But they start off really brightly, getting a shot off early on in the 12th minute of the game, 13th minute of the game, and before the cross came back in. And um, Skoos, I think his name is pronounced, he wins the header and gives them a one-goal lead. Now, um, imme almost immediately, um, we try and respond, creating chances, firing just wide there. And, you know, it's really unfortunate. I think our performance is really unfortunate because... Um, we hit the post on several occasions, hit the woodwork on several occasions in this game and created so many chances. We just couldn't seem to take them. They're Jizzle being, stump, uh, being tripped in the box, that stumbling but staying on his feet and um, forcing a save off the goalkeeper and right after that hitting the crossbar. So, you know, we did have a lot of chances to try and get back into this game. But, um, you know, we just didn't seem to um, be able to take them. Even in the second half, I don't know what happened there. He struggles to control it quickly enough and the goalkeeper pulls off a fantastic save to keep um, the score at 1-0. And then Bristol City punish us for not taking any of our chances by getting a second goal in the 64th minute. Um, and, you know, that was really kind of the game killer. After that, they, they sort of just took over and went on to score a third. Um, I don't know what the keeper was doing there. It was a bit of awful defending for the, the, those last two goals. Um, but uh, Jizzle did manage to pull a goal back in the 84th minute of the game, breaking past the defenders and slotting past the goalkeeper at his near post. But that is how the score finished 3-1 um, at home, so a really poor performance from the team. 9.4 rating individually, so you can tell how much effort Jizzle put in. Um, definitely, he's still got his head screwed on. He's not letting the, um, 
that uh, England call-up carry him away. But the game against Arsenal, um, for the replay of that, I think um, all the energy Jizzle put into the previous two games um, made him a bit too tired and the manager decided to drop him for that game and I think we ended up losing 3-0 against Arsenal so that means we are now out of the FA Cup. I think that's both cup, cup competitions we're out of now. So a little bit disappointed with that but um, team of the week performance for the games against uh, Arsenal and Bristol City so that's not too bad for us. Um, off the pitch also rejected offers from Lazio and Juventus. Um, as you can see transfer deadline day, you'll see them come through I think now. So there's the offer from Juventus. I'm not sure if I've rejected the offer from Lazio yet or if that has yet to come through. But um, like I said, sticking with Bolton trying to secure that promotion and you know, just focusing on the task at hand. Um, for the England call up, I was not selected for the game against Switzerland but as you can see there we won 1-0 and um, Rooney with a solo goal. And um, Second game, which was against Austria, I was called up for that one, playing just behind Wayne Rooney in the centre forward position, he's playing in the striker role. And um, this was a tougher game than I thought it would be. Uh, Austria came out on the brighter side, a little backheel shot there, a cheeky little backheel shot was saved, but Januzovic managed to um, score the rebound. But um, England came straight back out, uh, uh, we came straight back out of uh, Austria, rather, with a fantastic um, strike from Young from the edge of the area to give us a, a one or or to give us an equaliser. You know, Austria continue to create chances, really unfortunate not to score that scissor volley there. And, um, you know, they kind of put in a performance that no one was really expecting. Uh, you can see uh, hitting the post there, I think that was Jordan Henderson. Um, but yeah, Austria kind of put in a shift that no one was really expecting, so they took us by surprise. But in the 45th minute of the game, Jizzle gets his debut international goal, a fantastic scissor volley. And um, on scoring this goal, I saw something that I've never seen in FIFA before. Like, uh, on the replay, they um, they slowed down the scissor part of the shot. You'll see it now. They just slowed it down, which looks quite <laughs> phenomenal, to be honest. But yeah, I've never seen that on FIFA before. But that gave us a 2-1 lead going into halftime. And we did create more chances in the second half. Jizzled there, um, pouncing on the defender's mistake, but unable to get his shot off um, on balance and firing straight at the goalkeeper. Now, Austria continued to put pressure on us and create a chance here. Joe Hart with a fantastic save, tipping it onto the crossbar. But in the 90th minute, Jizzle just settles all the fans' um, worries by scoring a fantastic left foot shot from the edge of the area, getting a brace on his debut, international debut. So that is a fantastic um, start to his international career. As you can see, just turning the defenders nicely there before getting a shot off to make it 3-1 and that's how the game finished. So 3-1 victory against Austria, really happy of that and happy of the, uh, the performances against Arsenal and um, the international obviously. So 9.7 rating um, for us there. Um, that's all for today's episode I think. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please do feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. But if you think you'd enjoy watching the content on my channel, feel free to subscribe and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.